Hey, how's it going, Skittle Squad? Welcome back to another World Zero video. We are here in World Zero today because we got our hands on a level 45 max level mage. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you guys to the mage, show you guys all the subclasses, how strong it is, and introduce you to all the skills as well, kick some butt, do things like that. So when the game leads beta and goes full on public, you know which class to choose. I will be doing a three-part series in this type of video, and you guys can be looking forward to Swordmaster and Defender as well. But before I begin this video, make sure you smash like button, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn your post notifications. And without further ado, let's get cheeky with it. Alright everybody, I'm actually on Sasa's character right now. If you don't know Sasa already, okay, she's my girlfriend and I borrowed her character so I can showcase it to you guys. She's been really into the game and I mean, I've been streaming this game for quite a lot too. And I'm going to show you her inventory. Bam, her inventory right here. She actually is using the best legendary out there right now, the level 45 Willow Wallace. Willow Wallace plus 8 has around 11,000 damage. And then we have her plus 9 purple armor. It's not a legendary armor, but it still looks pretty darn good. These are the only stats that you need to worry about as of now for this video. is really armor or weapon, armor or weapon. She has really cool cosmetic stuff, and I'm not going to go flash it off. You can see it already. Hey, what's up? I want to thank Gavin for many legendaries. If you're out there, Gavin, thank you so much. All right, folks, as a mage class user, you're going to be able to class up two times after you choose. So there are three classes in the game, and I click on classes right here. You can see that you start off as a mage at level one. At level 15, you can choose between an elementalist or a mage of the light. One is a healer and one is an offense user. But let's showcase your original mage skills, everybody. So there are three skills that are unique to the mage class we have here. We have the arcane blast with we'll a five second cooldown and it hurls an arcane ball that explodes onto your enemies. And then we have arcane orb cooldown zero. It's a primary attack, which means you kind of just swing stuff throughout some orbs damage. And then we have the arcane wave as well. Launch a wave of erupting arcane energy. I definitely will be testing out all these skills for you guys. Once again, it's arcane blast, arcane orb and arcane wave all right guys this is my arcane orb right here just throwing out some regular attacks i'm hitting around five six hundred damage it's very fast paid range attack skills that we have here and let's hit them with an arcane blast boom aoe splash damage yo arcane wave come on let's do it with a wave okay no 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 not yet not yet Throw a few more attacks. As a mage, guys, you do want to keep your distance, obviously. But since the armor stats are not differentiated by your classes in this game, you can technically still be a tank. Well, not really a tank, but what I mean is you can still kind of tick hits. You don't have to worry. You're not really a glass cannon. You do want to maximize your damage with getting the best weapons and upgrading as well. But generally, all classes are at least similar in terms of defense. All right, let me go knock you guys out with an arcane wave. As a mage, guys, I'm going to gather up all these mobs. I can definitely do some AoE splash damage. My arcane wave. Hit him. Bam. Okay, that, that could have definitely been better. But then again, guys, most classes does have the ability to get AoE range targets. But having range pressure in a group fight or even in general soloing, you know, you can pretty much get rid of targets before they even get to you. If you have enough damage at all. Alrighty, folks. So the next class that we're moving on to is the Elementalist. The offensive level 15 mage it has three unique skills well really four because there's an ultimate skill at the very bottom and it was we start with our primary attack ice needle zero second cooldown and then we move on to fireball hurls a fireball at your enemies and damage anybody nearby infecting burns then we have lightning strike cooldown 15 seconds and damage enemies within the lightning field icicle field cooldown six seconds erupt icicle spikes from the ground infecting frost and at the very bottom with our ultimate skill it's called storm rains down with the power of the the elements infecting super frost super frost i think it's like supposed to immobilize your enemies all right let's start off with our primary attacks and see what we do with the gargoyles mm -mm 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 -mm. easy peasy and then the icicle field oh dang that's taking damage that was pretty op huh again and let's hurl our fireball the next one fireball Dude, that's amazing, guys. Like, if you like flashy skills, range attacks, definitely a mage is where you want to go. And a lot of people's point of view, they do think that mages are pretty OP. But I do think that every class has something about them that's going to make them pretty OP in terms of damage or defense or healing or whatever. Bam. All right, and the next skill I'm going to be using is Lightning Strike. I'm going to gather up a group of this because I'm pretty sure most of these skills are AoE and haven't really been using it in AoE style. All right, Lightning Strike. Let's go. 
Oh, there we go. I mean, I do think Fireball is probably the better skill to knock out some of these targets since they're moving so slow anyways. And Icicle to stop them. Fireball to blow them up. Yeah, and I'm going to use my ultimate now. All right, time for Storm, the ultimate attack. Um, That was a little dramatic. All right, just another reminder, guys. I always think it's better to gather all your targets, especially when you have AoE heavy uh, damage attacks. But as I remember, most attack damages in World Zero are AoE heavies. My ultimate is literally charging up. I don't have to kill anything. I don't have to attack anything just by being alive. And if you die, though, I do think you lose the entire charge bar. You got to start 0% all over again. So if you want to see your ultimate skills, definitely don't die. All right, let's go flash off our ultimate skill once more, guys, because I know the first time was a little weird because I only saw the miss, but let's do it again. I'm going to gather a group of these mobs right here. I'm going to use an ultimate attack. All right, ultimate skill. There we go. Boom. Okay, yeah. There we go. There's the meteors. Yeah, so definitely, guys, ultimate skill has meteors just like the icon shows. All right, folks, so the next class that we have here is the Mage of Light. A lot of people are pretty hyped about this because it's a hugely supportive class. It does a lot of healing, it does a lot of curing, it does barriers as well. It's buffer, and everybody wants one in their party. Starting off with a barrier skill, grants you and your allies a barrier. I do think the barriers grant immunity to damage, like a god mode for a short moment. And then we have cure, which emits a posting fountain that negates debuffs. So if you guys have ever noticed any like poisoning, any burning, any icicle effects, it would debuff those skills. And then we got Grace. Fly around and super heal your allies while providing a barrier. That is your ultimate skill attack. You do need to charge up as well. And then we have Healing Circle. Provides a lasting heal circle around you. So that's going to be pretty OP when we go test that out, guys. We do have to find a party because a mage without a party is... It's like a turkey without Thanksgiving. And then we got Light Seeker as a primary attack. We don't need worry about that too much all right folks as i equip my weapon right orbs come out and these orbs are going to they're like charges so basically the more skills you use a certain skills you use it will take up one of these orbs and it's kind of like you run out of the ammo if you use too many of them all right so this is my primary skill right now I'm throwing out some damage okay they're throwing out some damage so many healers and yeah i know <laughs> healers are pretty important class Everybody wants to be one. So I'm going to start with a barrier attack, guys. Well, not an attack, but it's going to buff my targets or my, my teammates and give them barriers so they can take no damage at all. And then the next thing I'll use is Cure if there's anywhere to debuff their targets. But this is what it looks like, guys. Once again, it does debuff your burning, your poison, or things like that. Now I'm going to give my teammates some heals. If they can just use some. There's so many healers in this group right now. I right, heal. Okay, this circle right here, as long as they're within my circle, I will heal them up. It's like a pulsing heal. And now I have an ultimate, guys. I will be saving this ultimate for the final boss. I will be saving the ultimate for the final boss. So let's turn and rush right through. I'm going to support these guys as we go, though. I'm going to heal them. I'm going to debuff them. I'm going to give them barriers, things like that. So uh, they won't die when I'm here, that's for sure. Once again, guys, you do want to pay attention to your ammo. Because if you spam your skills too much, you will end up running out. Heal, heal, heal. Yeah, rest assured, guys. I got you guys handled. All right, ultimate attack. Here we go. All right, this is like super heal. I got to fly around and give them heals. And my dudes ain't dying right now. I hope not, at least. And then I'm going to keep healing some more of my other skills. Debuff as well. And give them barriers. This is such a supportive character, guys. Die? Oh, I thought I died. Whoa, that would have been my mistake. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bad healer, Kelvin. Bad healer. <laughs> Since Grace doesn't give you guys the best description, it does get a little confusing, I understand. But you guys need to understand that the Grace Ultimate skill gives you a big burst of healing in the shortest amount of time. There we go, the dragon! I got my Grace back and I'm ready to rock and roll. Grace! There we go, how you like them heals, bruh? And then shield! Well, I already had shield, what was I thinking? Because Grace gives you a regular heal skill and shield at the same time. So technically, like, it's two skills in one. There we go. Mission complete. All right, folks, that's pretty much it for this video right here. It was pretty much a showcase of a top tier mage. Oh, it's skills and pretty much things like that. Hopefully it has convinced you to join a mage class and become a mage. But once again, guys, I will be making a three part set where I will release a guardian version, a defender version and a swords master as well. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, y'all.